Alright guys and welcome back to another video. This time we're in the manufactured sports car series I believe it is. I could be wrong. Uh, it was over a week since I recorded this video but um, I wish I did more videos in this series. It was a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately I didn't do too many because I was kind of indulged in doing a league race this, uh, this weekend or yeah last weekend um, in the historic racing buddies uh, series on Forza which was a lot of fun. I've got maybe one or two races. Uh, I will show maybe at the end of this week or the beginning of next week in this series as we see a guy spin about three times in the air there. That was pretty um, crazy, that was. I don't think I've seen that in Forza yet. Uh, but yeah, I was just kind of indulged over that uh, over the week. So I wish I did more races in this series. It would have been, um, you know, maybe a bit more interesting. Um, because the, the series was actually good. There's a lot of variety in the cars, as you can see here. Most people are in different cars. There's a Aston Martin Vulcan there. There is a Ferrari 5-something. It's like a 5XXK. I think it is, or triple 5XK. Uh, you've also got the Ferrari FXXK. Um, a lot of Xs here. Uh, you've also got the Brabham I'm in as well. I, the reason why I picked the Brabham was... Um, on the detail screen, on the specs, I think this was... It looks like the best car. Even though I don't think actually on track it was. I think the Aston Martin Vulcan was a very good car. Um, and I thought I'd just pick this one. I'm also testing a little bit with the setups. Um, I've now played quite a bit of the game. I think I'm like level 700. Um, I think like Prestige. I don't know. I think Prestige obviously I think will be Prestige. Uh, well, level 1000. And uh, yeah, I've played quite a bit of the game. And most of the time I'm just downloading setups. And um, I want to try something new. I want to try to learn setups on the game. Um, that's something I haven't really mastered in any game. Uh, the F1 game, I've tried to do it. But you find in a lot of these arcade sim games um, that the setups aren't realistic. So when you think, oh, I'm having a bit of understeer, let's put in you know, a bit more downforce or a bit more camber. You know, on the F1 game, it's not like that. You, you you actually max out the camber on both the front and rears, no matter what. Um, and I think it's a little bit similar on Forza as well. Uh, there's a few things. I think with the anti-roll bars, you max them out. As well as with the downfall level, uh, levels, you kind of max them out as well. Um, there's kind of a few nuances where you kind of need to understand, which I kind of... I, I want it to be realistic, but they are video games at the end of the day. I think iRacing is probably a really good... Uh, example of something maybe where you can have realistic setups uh, possibly ACC uh, but unfortunately on games like these the setups aren't that realistic and when you watch a lot of setup guides on uh, on YouTube they don't quite work in reality they would work in a, on a real car but in a game on Forza they don't unfortunately work and there's a few nuances you kind of need to know on what kind of makes the car fast uh, and what doesn't uh, but you can see here, I haven't really talked about what's going to happen in this race. Um, we have a bit of a, a messy race. There's a few mistakes like there. Uh, for some reason, I did a lot of practice in this race. Um, and I aced the last corner every single time. But for some reason in the race, I messed it up at the start of it. And uh, yeah, I spun around a few times. So uh, there's quite a few mistakes from me. Uh, and quite a, a few from a lot of other people as you can see there's quite a few people going off into the grass and uh, yeah it's not too much of a disaster race we actually I think we finish uh, in a podium position I won't actually say which one just to make it a little bit more interesting uh, but we do actually end up uh, gaining a lot of time and you can see first place is only 10 seconds ahead and we've had a few spins uh, I will say but I think the Brabham I really enjoyed the Brabham um, I'm not sure if it was the fastest. I tried the Vulcan, I think, for two races in the end. Uh, they weren't that interesting, so you probably won't see them videos in it. We can see we're spinning once again. I think this is for the third time here. And I'm actually quite surprised that we actually got to P2. Or oh, I've actually kind of just spoiled it there. And what position we actually got to. We did get to P2 at the end of the race. So I'm actually quite kind of surprised that we actually got to second. Because see first is now 18 seconds ahead. So we have quite a... A good end to the race it's damage limitations at this point i will say i'm quite good at the game at doing this i'm quite good at making a lot of mistakes and then doing damage limitations not letting it get to my head um i think a lot of the time um i experience a lot of pressure once i'm like sort of trying to do a last or first but when i make a mistake and it's like oh it's not on the cards anymore it kind of releases that pressure 
and it allows me to you know just sort of get my foot down and make up a lot of positions and a lot of time um but that that's kind of what happens in this race we have a good battle with one of the i think it's actually guy in first aaron Kawa, um who unfortunately we had a bit of an accident with due to net code and he was very angry after the race he messaged me after the race complaining that you know i, I was doing like fair clean racing uh, and like well done being sarcastic and i just apologize saying it was net code and you will see it i think it's on lap eight we have a good little side to side battle for the first few sort of like the first sector of the race which is uh, a bit disappointing that it ended up in a, a net code issue and then him getting really angry uh, but I couldn't really do anything about it I kind of nudged the back of his car like a tiny bit going into the braking zone and then he ended up spawning in front of me again and then he ended up spinning into the grass without any sort of touch so yeah that's kind of what happened uh, in this race and I'm kind of getting a little bit of flashbacks because I'm recently I haven't done a lot of races in the is it the classic Grand Prix series which is out this week and um, I feel like someone took me out with the name Aaron so I'm kind of I, I need to take a look at that video uh, it might be actually one which I'm going to show uh, probably next week uh, if he actually is that guy because I remember there's a guy called Aaron who does take me out on purpose in that race so we'll just have to see if that does if, if it is actually him I'll, I'll have to take a look after this video but um, so far we're doing alright, we're just getting our foot, uh, foot down, we're not making mistakes anymore. Uh, we've closed down the gap over just under uh, a second to the guys in first, it was 18 seconds, now it is 17 seconds. Uh, we can see what on the medium, medium strategy here, there's nothing really special. Um, we almost lose the car there, but the wall does save us. And uh, yeah, I will say the series were very good. Um, the car, you know, uh, variety in it's good. The race length is good. I think just, the other tweak could have been is the uh, strategy. Um, you know, a lot of the races are just medium, medium. I think there were actually some strategy and a few ones because there was a guy who, I think he stayed out on just the hard tyres around Road America. And he he almost won the race. Um, I think I overtook him on like the last corner. you probably see that video probably next week. I have uh, something in my throat that I can't quite get it out. But um, yeah, we had um, these are a little bit of strategy, I will say, but I don't think it's as much I would, as I would like. I think the medium, medium strategy is probably um, the easiest one you can uh, do. I don't know if anyone's done the classic Grand Prix series, but the tie wear on that is absolutely insane. I've done the Le Mans race about uh, two or three times in that. And if, when you're just driving down the street because they don't have the chicanes on it, um, you know, your tyres go, if you're on the softs, you can go from like 100% from the first sector and then you come to the end of the straight and they're about at like 50%. So there's a lot of tie wear around Le Mans, uh, I will say. But um, as uh, I was talking about Le Mans, we also had the Nürburgring, which was recently released. Unfortunately, it hasn't been in any of the series as of yet. They haven't put it in any of them. I don't think the class series or the spec series have got a single one. Um, I've given it a little go in practice and it's good, it's interesting, it's, it feels a little bit small, I will say the track, but that could be just sort of the perspective of using third person camera, uh, I'm not quite sure, but it does feel like the size of the track, the width, is a little bit tiny, um, I know a few people, I think it's call sign, I could be messing up his name, um, he complained saying it's the worst Nürburgring or Nordschleife track ever in any game, and... I kind of disagree with that, I will say. You know, a lot of older games will probably have worse uh, Nürburgring. I don't know if Project Cars had it in. Um, but I think, you know, I will say, like, it does look good. It looks, the track, I will say it looks a bit tiny, but that could just be the perspective of using third-person camera. You know, you've got all the graffiti on the track. It looks, you know, good textures. Um, you know, it looks like the Norge life, but... Um, there's a few things he was saying about with the trees, there's a lot of trees everywhere whereas in the Norge life there isn't so much in certain parts and I will agree with him on that behalf there's just a lot of trees cluttered um, on the track as well as the is floodlights as well so if you do a night race the track is lit up which is a bit annoying I understand why they might need to do it if they do you know multiplayer races you know you kind of need to see but I kind of it kind of removes the challenge of what the Norge life is at night where you know it is really dark and it's just the headlights lighting up the track and I guess in a free play multiplayer it would just be an absolute disaster 
but maybe they could just limit the floodlights a little bit make it so it's just a bit more dim or make the the brightness of the lights a little bit more dim um they're just sort of you know uh, opportunities or changes they can make to the track just to make it a little bit more realistic and better uh, i will say but i would i would say it's not terrible it's not the worst track i've seen um but if i were gonna rate i'd probably say it's like a seven and a half out of ten i'd say remove the trees remove a bit of the floodlights or the dimness of them um i think it could be one of the best uh, nodge lifers out there um but yeah i don't think it's terribly uh, bad but coming back onto the race here you can see we made our way up into fourth position we're chasing down Ara or Aaron Kawa 46 um, at the end of lap 7 and uh, we're going to have a little bit of a good battle uh, coming to the end or beginning of lap 8 through the first couple of corners we go side by side quite a bit which is uh, um, very good to see we have some close racing in the free play multiplayer you can see coming into turn 1 we try go for a little move around the outside it goes quite wide in the mid corner we're going to try go for a bit of a switch back through here keep close to the inside of the white line do maybe a little bit of a switch back here we almost touched the front of his car there it was super close we hit the grass there we're still side by side and this is absolutely great racing uh, i will say but coming into this top part this is where the incident is going to happen a bit of net code we can see coming into here breaks a little bit earlier we make a bit of contact he's still there and then magically he does spin um I only made a slight bit of contact on the back of his back of his car. I don't think it was enough to actually spin in. And he actually spun about five seconds later than the actual initial contact. So bit, I think a bit of net code uh, problem was the issue there. And uh, yeah, I do apologize even though I don't think it was uh, my fault that much to Aaron. Uh, if he has seen the video, because I did say I was recording it, it was down to net code. Um, but he was quite angry at the end of it. But uh, yeah, we got up into second place there luckily enough and it's sort of been damage limitations uh we've made our way up the field quite easily quite quickly and um, we've got a 1.3 second part uh, by skipping that sort of little chicane there which is quite easy to do and uh first place is only seven seconds ahead so we've managed to make up about 10 seconds uh in the space of about what five or six laps so very good we've got very good great pace um in this car around here as well i guess i'll talk about um, the racing series or the league, league racing uh, I did over the weekend um, because I don't think the mu nothing much happens really at this point I think we do finish in second place at the end so I did it's in the historic racing buddies uh, championship I believe it is I could be wrong but I think it is that um, on discord so I think if anyone wants to join it I think they have a Facebook group um, as well if anyone wants to join just leave it in the comments and I can provide you with a link um to join but it's basically we're doing a championship in the honda nsx the 1992 model and uh yeah the first risk was around japan we did the uh, classifications just to sort of there's three categories so pro pro arm and amateur uh, i got into pro arm because i think the, the top guys are very very fast um i don't know how fast uh, uh, or how fast the they actually can be because uh, we did the first race around Japan, the full circuit, and they were about. I was putting in some good lap times uh, when practicing. I was doing. I think my best one was probably a twelve-seven, a two-minute twelve-seven, which was quite good in the. I think it's the morning patchy fog conditions, uh, which do affect your actual performance and the sort of tire grip you have. And uh, yeah, I was doing about that lap time, and I looked at the pro. Um, the sort of races they have it's free 20 minute races and they were doing about 11 minute freeze and that is such a fast time i have no idea how they were doing that fast um i don't know if it's down to setup it seemed like it might be and i kind of i feel like if the i looked at one of the guys who were in the series and he had about 90 days i'm not i think it was forza motorsport, motorsport 7 and uh yeah i kind of if the setups have transfer, transferred over to motorsport Forza Motorsport. Um, I kind of understand where they've gotten that pace from uh, because I'm I'm a bit sort of unskilled, not not much of uh, any knowledge in how to do setup work on Forza. So it kind of seemed like it might have been down to that. I could be wrong. Uh, I did download a, a, one of the guys 
uh, in the racing series, one of his setups, the I think it's one of the admins. And uh, yeah, I managed to get like a, I think the best lap time in practice was like a, a 2 minute 12.7. Um, and in the free races, it's free 20 minute races. Um, in the first race, it was an absolute disaster. I actually qualified on pole for the first one. Um, I think I did a one minute, or two minute 13 free, uh, which was a few tenths faster than a few other people, which I was very pleased with. But in the race, it was an absolute da a disaster. And it was the sort of first time experiencing the, I think it's, what is it, the draft sort of thing in Forza. I don't know if it's actual glitch or if it, it, it's just a thing Forza or Turn 10 have actually put in, but it's when someone gets in your draft, it actually affects your performance and removes sort of somewhat of your downforce and it makes your car a lot harder to drive. And that was like the first race in that series was the um, the first time I experienced in that because I qualified on pole and like in the first lap, I, the car just felt awful. And I ended up like spinning, I think it was. And then I ended up putting on the medium tyres when you post spot on the softs and I ended up losing uh, loads of time and I ended up finishing six. But in the second race, I finished first and then in the third race, I finished third uh, due to penalties. So it was quite a good one. I think I'm like fourth in the standings. I'm about five points behind first. I think the top four are very close, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, you should see a couple races, maybe one um, in that series in the Racing League uh, next week. Uh, but yeah, we've come to the end of this one. It was uh, an interesting one. We made quite a few mistakes, but we ended up finishing in P2. And I hope you uh, enjoyed that race there.